Greetings, my statistics friends. Uh, I wanted to make a short video and uh, give you some pointers and some tips about statistical lab number one and uh, how to go about using Microsoft Excel. So the first thing is you've entered into the lab and you have five attempts to do the lab to get the correct answers. And there's some background information here and then some data. So about the data. And it says, for this lab, you need to download this uh, data set for this comma-separated value file. So for most of us, if you click on that, it will automatically come up as Microsoft Excel uh, file. Most of us have that salt, uh, set on our default settings. So I open up that file, and this is my uh, Microsoft Excel uh, file. A point out is if when I look back in the instructions, it says that the state, the name of the state is from the United States. And then the second thing it says is 2015, that's 2015, quarter two, that's what Q2 stands for. And that's the GDP or level of economic activity for a state in the second quarter of 2015 as an estimate. And then the key words are here is in millions of US dollars. So we can save ourselves a lot of trouble when we're doing this lab if we make a column and we call it the GDP and we take from quarter two and we convert that into, this is in millions of dollars in column B, but convert that into actual dollars. So what I'm gonna do is push the equal sign and then let's do Alabama first. And then I'm going to multiply that by a million. So one followed by six zeros. And then I double check to make sure I got all the zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I hit enter. Now what will happen for most of us is this GDP will then come up in scientific notation. So we want to change that because we don't want it in scientific notation. So since I'm going to do the same thing for all of the values in this column, I'm going to highlight the D and use my other mouse, my alternative mouse click, and do format cells. You can also do that up here in your uh, menu. You can format the cells, but the fastest way to get to that is to highlight with your other mouse click and click format cells. And then we're going to select currency since we're talking about money. And we could do two decimal places if we wanted to, or you could do one decimal place or three decimal places, but I'm going to leave it at two decimal places. And now I've converted Alabama's in millions value to actual dollar amount. And then I can drag and click this little green button on the bottom right hand corner of the cell and pull that down through all of the cells and it automatically would do that for all of the cells. So for example, if you look at North Carolina, it's 503745, and now it's been multiplied by um, a million, right? So this is actual dollar amounts for that quarter, the gross domestic product. So that'll be helpful because in the actual questions that we're supposed to do, lab questions, it says, to compute the per capita GDP, or the per capita gross domestic product, which can be attained by dividing the gross domestic product for each state by that state's population. So, this is the population for each state. This is now my gross domestic product. So I need to divide that. So this is equal to um, the gross domestic product. So I highlight that cell divided by, and then the population, and I hit enter. And then I get that answer. So I'm gonna call that, what our book calls it, is the per capita GDP. So I'm gonna call this whole column the per capita GDP. And once again, if I highlight the top cell and I drag it down to the bottom, It'll do that automatically for all of those cells. Now, one more thing I want to point out is in the instructions, it asks us to round your answer to the nearest dollar. So in this column, I'm going to select column E again so I get all the numbers at once. 
Then I'm going to push my other mouse button, so my alternative mouse button, and do format cells. And now I want currency, but with no decimal places, because it says round it to the nearest dollar. And so now I round it. So for example, if I have Idaho, Idaho is 39,436. 39,436. So I'm going to put that in Idaho here. 39,436. And when I submit that for testing, way down here at the bottom, and it gives me feedback here in a second, it'll say I got them all wrong except for Idaho, which I got right. Right? So you have to fill that out for each of these. Now the next question says compute the gross domestic product in millions for all 50 states and uh, by taking the sum. So how do we do that? Well, remember something here. This column B is the gross domestic pro product per million. So I could sum up column D that's been already been multiplied by a million and then divided again by a million, but I can also look down here and say, well, I want the total. So I'm going to use this equal and then the sum and choose all of the things in the column. And so I have from B2 down to B51 for all the states. And this will be 17 six seven four seven seven seventeen six seven forty four seventy seven and when I go back to my answer here I do one seven six seven four four seven seven so this is the all 50 states and because I took the sum for each and if I checked my answer I submit it for testing. Uh, sure enough, uh, hopefully that's the right answer, right? So it gives me the green check mark. Now something to be careful of, notice what's happened here when I've done my attempts. This says you have five attempts, right? Well, I've already used two of my attempts. So I wouldn't do it one at a time. Uh, answer all the questions to the best of your ability and hit submit. And uh, there's more questions here, but be kind of careful about how you're answering and carefully read each of these um, uh, different things. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.